Hey, g'day guys, Steve Lee. Just um, give you guys a bit of a rundown on our last all like guns tour. Uh, the first time we went to Vietnam, this time rather than straight to Cambodia, just check out a, uh, one of the shooting ranges there in Cambodia. <laughs> so anyway, we go to this, um, head into Vietnam on the, uh, the first day. We feel these guys who came along, that's George. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we just went there, spent a night there in uh, Vietnam for the first time. And um, the following day, we decided to head over to the uh, Choo Choo Tunnel. I'm just going to see Chuck Norris come out of one of these doors here soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Choo Choo Tunnel um, uh, shooting range. Don't come up to yet. I'm not ready. Hang on, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting ready. I thought you had a flashback. No, you didn't love that. You didn't love that. Broken the chain. When they came out, yeah, they ambushed, collecting whatever they can use and disappear back to the tunnel. So many tanks like this left after the war time. But we keep one in original location for protecting. So we just come down to this Vietnam range. I've never been to this Vietnam range before. So we're all Got a few different guns here that I haven't shot before, so we've got a few of the boys going to go down and try it. The main one we're going to go to is the uh, Cambodian range. This carbine, I'm going to try this M M1 carbine, and also this um, M30, which I haven't fired before, so uh, I'll take those down and see where we go. Yeah, so we um, started shooting at this range and weren't really happy with it at all, it just mainly semi autos. Had a few full auto things and the uh, 30 cap was pretty cool to shoot, the big uh, full auto, but other than that, there's not really much else there, and the guns are old and jammed all the time. It's really just for tourists, and uh, the guns are pinned down. It's not the same freedom you get when you're in Cambodia, so we won't be coming back to this range. This is a uh, typical thing when you come to uh, Vietnam. They guarantee me this was an M2, but it's actually an M1, so it's only semi auto, but it'll be fine. What do you do? It's all right. It's yeah, just like the other stuff. Um, we get started to work. Yeah, all right. So this year. Um, Browning machine gun, never shot one of these before, shot the Browning 50 cal, but uh, these are sort of out of service now. And um, we're good, uh, 30 cal, so we've got 306 rounds there. Cat's got a bullet. Yeah. Bullet bill. Hey, push, push. Where's the knife? It's got a bullet bill. Yes, dude. <laughs> Where's the zipper? Is someone hiding in there? <laughs> hey there. Yeah. Every cat should have a bullet. <laughs> mm. He's looking at him like, hmm, dinner. <laughs> Put it down, it's someone else's cat. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what makes it dinner. Neighbor's cat, he told us. Neighbor's cat? Neighbor cat? <laughs> Look, the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> so after the range we just headed straight over to Cambodia and uh, it's a pretty short flight so we just straight there, head over to the motel and um, just introduced all the boys to Paul. So Paul's our Cambodian guide, he uh, helps us out with the ranges a bit and also the motorcycles. Oh, right. oh, good. Hey, and, uh, hey, yeah, it's just good to see him over there again. <laughs> Lovely. 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 Yeah, let's have a look. Keep going. Oh, 
Oh, mate. Get that for you. That's all right, that's all right. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is going to be the guy. He's got me a new bike. You got this one, Justin? Yes, So we just jumped in the car and uh, Paul informs me that the guy driving us around happens to be a uh, a policeman. So um, what do you think Marty would do if, uh, if, the, if we are in a police car? This is what he'd do. I think do feel in front of duty. Oh my Buddha. They look, they look behind my hair. I get my boy. I like, I'll get my Sam's up the bar now, you bike the jar there. Then we're going to try and negotiate to get ourselves a car. It's a bit hard. Every year we come here, the cars get dearer and dearer, and uh, they get harder and harder to find. And I think they just see us as richer and richer, so they sort of hit us up. Paul's trying to find a guy now that he's supposed to have found us a car. You know, they use everything here. You look at these parts. Every single car is so valuable to them, it's really hard to. Cars pretty tough. We'll see what goes from here. We'll see what happens. Same thing. Yeah, we needed a car for uh, the shooting range the following day, but just yeah. it's too hard to come up with one. So we went straight to the range, and there was a couple of guys from um, the US, a couple of soldiers there, just uh, working in with the Cambodian Army. It was good to see them boys there as well. I was just there training some soldiers, doing a bit of other stuff. So we uh, just went over the range and there was another guy there that day just about shooting an RPG, so we just uh, watched him. Always a bit of fun watching others shoot those RPGs, I just love it. The way it looks, <laughs> shining steel and polished wood. I don't care they are big or small. <laughs> if they fall, set hell on them all. I like gun. I like gun. I like gun. <laughs> <More of the time>. <laughs> 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 to the range. Paul, a good mate, took us to the range. I know. And uh, well, we're going to get a car, but like I said, we couldn't get the car this time. But we decided to go with a, uh, a Cambodian village instead. So we're going to get the soldiers there building as a whole village. So when we get back there tomorrow, we're going to have um, three huts to blow up. And uh, I've never done it before, so it should be good. What do you reckon, Margie? Yeah, uh, it's something different, so we should do pretty well tomorrow. I so I'm looking forward to it. We're going to go and get some more gas bottles and uh, a bit of fuel and stuff for it. And other than that, it, uh, these guys should be happy with it. Cambodia really is a great place for, for adventure and it is the Wild West. But it's still really important to, um, to see where the whole country's come from, where they've been. And uh, so we always take the guys that come with us just to show them the history of the place, show them what they've been through. Yeah, because after the Vietnam War, Pol Pot and the uh, Khmer Rouge uh, regime killed over two million people in Cambodia. It was a real horrific time for the country. Uh, it's doing way better now, obviously, and uh, it's just good to go there and help them out and get some finances to the country. But it is a really sad past that they had. As usual, me and Marty came up with some ideas. We just came past this uh, unusual looking place, so we're going to try and see if we can get a, a cow or something to uh, shoot. So, this is what we found. We got ourselves a bull, so we're going to do an RPG versus cow. RPG versus bull. It's going to be spectacular. <laughs> Let's do it. You going to get a couple of chickens as well? Hey, some chickens and some penguins. Right. M16 versus penguins. There's a uh, one thing. This is an electronic system. Oh, I think I'm going to get a chicken. Ah, 
Win my complaint. Win my computer. This is computerized. It's a Cambodian computer. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> then it plugs into electricity. Yeah. 240 volts. Safety first. Look, we took out from his car. Yeah. And the back I'm is. It's only sound. Come on, man. These are just put let they, they short them out. They have an electric wire going from the power into the firecracker and short the. Just 240 volts going into it. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. That is dangerous. Fireworks don't kill you, the electricity will. He's going to shoot one up to see how it goes, but the uh, steel tube's got me scared. Yeah, it's testing the merchandise. Right, right next to the um, fuel station, as you can see. Yep, next to the fuel station. Right next well, it's, a, it's a good five metres from the fuel station, it'll be fine. It's going to be instant too. There's only, no, no slow fuel, it's only quick fuel. Safety first. Have you seen the new stolen hats here in Cambodia? What is it? <laughs> Sauce for that. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Did you leave it? I guess it was for that. <laughs> we got sauce pen out over there. We got the drunk explosives fireworks guy. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. 